So let's uh, play with the stitch angles. On this, I will right click on the area. I will then take my stitch angle tool, place my cursor over the green dot. It'll turn into a four-way cross. Move that stitch angle to what I would like it to be. And then move on to the next area. Right click, left click, hold, and drag, and move that angle. Right click. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of moving them um, moving the angles and kind of mirroring them from one another. And so when we right click we can see that stitch angle and we just left click hold and drag to move it. Now I'm not de generating after each one because I can make multiple changes and then generate after I'm done with all of them. So I'll right click off to the side after I'm finished with all of them, regenerate my stitches and now you can see that what I've done, I've, I've actually uh, changed the stitch angles, giving it more dimension. Now down here with the stem, what I'd like to do is kind of edit this area to where the stem kind of goes up and maybe we cut off this clover a, a little bit like this, uh, you know, to be a little bit more smooth. So we're going to go to the outline view and I just clicked on this view outline icon at the top of our screen on our view toolbar. I'm going to right click on this area right here and I've got this nice tool under outline called adjust with an arc and I'll left click on that because what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to take uh, this segment that's kind of jagged right here and smooth it out. So in order to do that with my crosshair because I do have the tool selected I will left click for my first point, left click for my second point because what I'm doing is I'm isolating that segment. I'll left click on the segment and then I'll bow that to what I'd like. I'll press escape to get out of the tool and you can see the changes here when I hit generate. Now I do have this hole and I also want to do the same over here and kind of uh, edit that as well. So again I'll go to view and then view outline or you can hit that icon on your view toolbar. I'll go up to outline on the main menu bar adjust with an arc and in here we'll do the same thing, we'll left click for our first point, left click for our second point, left click to select, bow that arc, left click to end inputting. Press escape to get out of the tool and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this area and you can see I'm not generating after each uh, piece is done because what I can do is I can make all the changes and then right click off to the side and regenerate. For this I'd like to go to the outline and then edit outline mode and in this edit outline mode I can do things um, and move these individual nodes however I'd like. So with this one um, I can move the nodes you know out a little bit but you can see that when I do that it really widens up this area. So I'm going to move that back and instead I'm going to add nodes. To add a node if you place your cursor over a red area you just left click hold and drag and you can see I'm just adding nodes here left clicking holding and dragging and if I'd like to have those nodes curve or that um, the red line curve I can right click hold and drag and uh, curve that node. So within the edit outline view or the edit outline mode, you can actually move these nodes, add nodes, and alter angles of nodes. Um, also, you can delete nodes. There's, there's many things you can do in here. But I want you to notice too that this is stitching first, so it will be behind um, the outline and the clovers. So I will right click off to the side and regenerate my stitches. And you can see what it has done there. So let's go ahead and zoom um, to the natural size of one to one and you can see just by changing that I am giving it more dimension. Now in addition to that I'm going to make some of these leaves a lighter color or these clovers a lighter color so what I will do is right click hold my control key and right click on the leaves that I'd like to change the color on. When I hold control it selects multiple I'll then go down to the bottom of my screen where that color chip is on my quick toolbar. Left click once. I'm going to click on define custom colors and I'll just make that a shade lighter. Press OK. 
right click off to the side you can see that it is a shade lighter plus you've got the uh, stitches going in different directions but on the left hand side here I do have it where it is uh, stitching dark green light green dark green light green so on and so forth so we'll go up to uh, accessories and optimize stitching order it should group your colors together and so now you don't um, have all those uh, dark green light green color changes but the thing is is that it is st stitching the stem number five so what we're going to do with number five is left click inside here then right click and say move to the top so it is behind everything and it's stitching first right click off to the side to deselect um, I want to save this design so I'll go to file and save I'm just going to save that on my desktop and I'm just going to name this St. Patty's Day press OK and that's saving it as a gen file then if you'd like to export it for your design you go up to the uh, enhanced format export which is the orange or you can use the other exporting functions and I will just uh, export it to the desktop and I'll just type in St. Patty's Day and then I'll hit save and that should export it as my PES and then I'll take that to my machine in addition to that I will print out a worksheet and in here I'm gonna give that worksheet a title I'll go ahead and preview and I can see all my design attributes about this uh, this four-leaf clover so that's something I can print out and uh, and bring with me to my machine so I'll go ahead and close that and uh, I just want to thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped and uh, have a good day